All right, welcome back to Let's Grumble. We have Vampire Bloodlines. Yeah, we're going out to the Maniac Mansion this time. That joke never get old. We'll Wait never you. get old. Just drive, fool. <laughs> we want to go to the Grout Maniac Mansion. <laughs> Put the hamster in the microwave. You know, I've never played Maniac Mansion. I have never played it, but I've seen... Uh, uh, oh, look at this pompous ass. I've seen other people play it. Yo, what are you doing here? Fuck you, Nines. Yo, Nines, what's up? No. Uh, it wasn't really a yes or no question. I was going to say. <laughs> you should get out of here. This place is bad news. Uh, pardon me. Huh, there's a weird echoing going on with his voice. Uh, made for you, for a badass like me. Yeah. <laughs> That's totally you choose. Fucking nines, what a pussy. <laughs> hey, there's scary dangers here. Quest log updated. Don't you see this three-piece suit, asshole? Yeah. I'm better than you. <laughs> Yelling at a fictional character outside a fictional gate. That's right, and then after this, we're going to talk about vegan nachos at the Olive Garden. Gah. <laughs> true story, folks. Oh, yes. True, <laughs> horrible story. They'll let just anyone into the Olive Garden, apparently. Yeah, that... I know it's been... Even the real-life Chad. <laughs> I thought it was Todd. Is it... Oh, my God, it is Todd. Well, we were... Okay, a bit of an explanation. We were... We had dinner at the Olive Garden, and there was a guy behind us... And he, he fairly doesn't know what an indoor voice is. And he had this, like, surfer bra kind uh -oh. of voice. Ooh. Oh, I don't remember. Hello? Let's just, uh, no, I know this is an enemy. Well, she's laughing. She's having a good time. Well, let's just try to feed on her. There we go. But yeah, he, he was totally uh, Todd the Juice Bar guy in real life. So, we're like... Ah, yeah, she's a threat. She has a knife. She's got a knife. Well, I was sent here to check stuff out, and I'm killing people already. Fantastic. I'm gonna make it... I'm gonna make it far in this organization. Yeah, also, that is a weird-looking carpet there in the lobby. I guess this is their version of zombies. So you were talking about Chad? Yeah, well, we were calling... Or the real-life Todd? Yeah, he was basically real-life Todd. <laughs> he just had the, oh, you know, the thing about vegan nachos is blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and uh, we were trying to eat, and the whole time we were eating, this guy would not stop talking. You know, talking about vegan nachos and talking about how he knows... Oh, and he is the most tremendously boring asswipe ever. He was talking about he knows some guy who was a, a politician or and stuff like that. And the whole time uh, we were talking, we were like jokingly mocking him. And keep in mind, he's like sitting right behind me. He could hear us and he was completely oblivious to what we were doing. <laughs> you already have a knife. Uh, he seemed like the kind of guy who does a whole lot of talking and not a whole lot of listening. Yeah. So, yeah, bro. But apparently he's into vegan nachos. Huh. <laughs> starry, starry night. Oh, look at those little doggies. Huh? Little hill hounds. All right. Looks like something off a of deviant dart. <laughs> it probably is. What's deviant? It's <laughs> funny because, like, this is made in Eastern Europe. They're like... Uh, just take a picture off the internet. Throw it on the wall. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure the deviant uh, art was around in 90 whenever this game was made. I don't recall where I'm supposed to go. I think I'm supposed to go through that hallway that's blocked. Okay. Seems like there used to be like something down there, but I don't know. Sneak, 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 sneak. Creepy music. The door? Ah! <laughs> well, he's laughing. He's having a good time. He's having a lovely time yanking that uh, that wall sconce. Yeah, he is. Making the kit the uh, candles turn on and off. Are you an enemy? Let's just put him out of his misery. 
Ooh. Scarlet Torkelson, circus performer. That looks like a book that I can use. Ooh, it is. Biography of 1930s circus performer Scarlet, the per perforated lady Torkelson. <laughs> Best known as the assistant to shaky Sill Manfredi, the notorious epileptic knife thrower. <laughs> wow. Uh, I would love to see their show. My stats have increased. <laughs> I don't know what I got, though. Okay. Uh, um, SP checked, he, he wasn't... A dodge. My dodge went up. Okay. Yeah. Good. Dodge is good. Last time we had him, you know, had Todd. Uh, he isn't very smart, but he is he is very dominating. Uh, well, that's handy. You can get people to... But I think we'll go with... Well, we, we, sh we should go with presence because we, we, we established that Todd is a presence guy. He is a pre Well, he's wearing a suit. Yeah. You know. All right. Well, we'll do. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Yeah. We. Oh, audio recording. Another unfortunate casualty to tide of time in sane asylums. I lament their loss, not only as brokerage houses for the breadth and depth of human psychosis, but also as a moan and disappearance of that peculiar environment present only in an insane asylum. That palpable oh, God, I remember this. Good, because I have no idea what he's referring to. It's a puzzle. puzzle. Of course. Shoot. Wrong button. Humans, that gently rolling cacophony of distant sobs. The screams, the muttered cursing at perceived enemies, and the If it kind of looks like I don't know what I'm doing, it's because I haven't actually played this in a while. Discovering the sky. I shall still find test subjects as surely as I find bloody sustenance in the night, but this climate, I fear, may never be replicated. The secret of this puzzle is just randomly hit stuff, and eventually you get your way. <laughs> it's a terrible puzzle and I hate it. Yeah, because we can't have a 90s game without a frickin' puzzle. Looking at you, Resident Evil. Oh, there we go. All right, well... Like I said, you just have to keep hitting stuff until something happens. <laughs> All right. All right, through the door. Uh... What? Oh, uh, yeah. That is ceiling. It's blacked off. So you're... Th uh... What are we talking about, Todd? It is quite peculiar, the happenings I've been made to witness for my supernatural... Is this the same story? I am thinking upon an unfortunate phenomenon in particular of unique interest to my station, both as a huh. professional and as a sufferer of this vampiric condition. It seems the stream of time has begun to evolve the moorings of my chosen course of study, for huh. the methodologies that gave birth to psychology All right. are slowly disappearing. I find myself in an oh, good. Place to through the whole place. Component of I don't just have to hang there. Time and again in favor yeah, because that would... That would be very boring for the audience. Dacto, and the rest of the Oligard has fallen by the wayside. Its champions oh. all silenced in death, with my unique exception. <laughs> would that I could make my voice heard again, although it may be suspicious should I return to popular medical discourse 50 oh. years after my apparent death. Better that I continue my studies in the psychosis in secret. One day, may I hold up my own cure as validation of the methods. I am confident no cure for my condition. Who do we want to feed on? I'm most certain there's nothing Jesus Christ, this guy talks more than I do. Yee-hoo! 
Yeah, that wasn't a Todd thing to do. Well, he's got a fire axe, might as well. He doesn't like getting his hands dirty, though. Yeah. He's like, I got a sweetest fire axe, I gotta show it off. Then he's like, oh man, this is a Gucci suit, dude. So, the gist of things that's kind of going on here is we've got like an old school... An old school psychiatrist, or practitioner of psychiatry. Mm-hmm. Which is, uh, as we all know, just kind of batshit crazy. Uh, who's been turned into a vampire, a Malkavian, obviously. Yeah. And uh, he runs an asylum. Sounds like a recipe for disaster to me. Yeah. All right, you. You look delicious. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, hey, bastard. So I should have mentioned, uh, the game is kind of broken if you play through as a Ventru. Swipe. Which kind of makes sense, because, uh, the table, you know, the tabletop RPG of Vampire the Masquerade is kind of broken if you play a Ventru. Hmm. Mainly because Dominate is extremely overpowered. Yeah, so I've noticed. Oh, another tape recorder. Often I reflect with great regret on the missed opportunity that was my infector. Had I been conscious of the attack, I could have stopped the orderlies from locking her in the roaming thing. What I would give for just one interview, a few simple questions of the Does this guy just leave his tape recordings all over the place just willy-nilly? And of course, there is no guarantee she would have been any more helpful than my current crop of test subjects, you wretches. Few could be called yeah, yeah, Given yeah. Given the nature of the test, I cannot expect the same further from all, but a modicum of cooperation would be appreciated. Mm -hmm. One called John went so far as to gnaw off his arm and escape into the floorboards like some feral rope. I still hear him scurrying about at night, making atrocious mess. Oh, yeah, it's over. Okay. My controls are getting all weird and sticky again. My studies proceed at a languid pace. I'm mired. That's Foul not good. Me as my wife's illness advances. My subjects grow restless without do 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 vision, but I cannot pull myself up back. Stairs up the stairs. How many Who puts a spiral staircase in a wasp game? From the tower walk, An idiot. The frailty of existence. Ooh, we're outside. Lovely view of the town. Oh. Here we go, J. Thank God, more spiral <laughs> staircases in a Wazid game. Here we go down the janky stairs, janky stairs, janky stairs. Oh, good, a victim. I mean, an enemy. Uh, tomato, tomato, victim, enemy. Dude, somebody needs to clean those floors. Apparently, the housekeeper is on break. Oh, now it's green. Uh, this looks suspiciously like the other hall. Only that one was a different color. Oh, damn it. Hi. They call me Voldo. <laughs> he looks like Voldo. Oh, and he does aggravated damage, the bastard. Yeah, because he's got claws. That's why I made the joke about Voldo. I love Voldo. He is my favorite character from uh, Soul Calibur. <laughs> Mainly because he creeped other people out when I played as him. Well, he's... Well, he's blind. He does not talk. I assume he's deaf. I then don't know. How do you fight a guy who's, like, getting down on his knees and sitting in front of you. It's really unnerving. Yeah, it does connect to that other room. Okay. That room connects to that room and this room connects to that room. This room connects to that room. Well, now I'm fucking lost. Go that way or that way? <laughs> now we're fucking lost. Well, I guess we're supposed to go this way. Well, can I pick this lock? Nope. Ah. Uh... 
by Fire of the Masquerade, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, yes. And another frickin' tape recorder. After decades of solitary study into this affliction, I have learned that it is by no means... Ah, it's nice we get a cute little story, Indeed, though. Oh, Jesus. The city is home to I... an entire society of similarly afflicted individuals with whom I've only recently made contact. They are an understandably standoff sort by and large. Nom, nom, nom. I have been able to confirm with them that the condition is indeed vandalism, which apparently comes from a multitude of strains, each with a spectacular set of symptoms such as invisibility and even a sort of lycanthropy. Huh. Through numerous Werewolf? official interactions with the governing body of this secret society, I have concluded that their fundamental understanding of the vampiric condition is woefully lacking and mired in suspicion and pseudo-religious dogma that they deter all for restrictions. Indeed, they seemed impressed with my studies and the arguments with which I was able to present them. Apparently, the typical sufferer of my particular strain of vampirism is far from the van girl. Hi, Bulldog again. So impressed with it that they even offered me an office. In yeah, their take that, Psycho Mantis. <laughs> Those are sweet gloves, though. If nothing else, it should provide a lofty vantage point from which to observe the breadth and epidemiology of the affliction so that I may move more expeditiously toward a cure. Okay, we go up the stairs. Hey, brah. <laughs> I also keep finding the same kind of enemies in this place. It's kind of weird. <laughs> oh, we're upstairs now. We are. In that one room. Now oh, there. Now we can open that. Yes, open the elevator, which looks like a giant safe. For some reason. Yeah, that is a weird thing. Uh, oh, great. We got another one up here. Chaos, like the mind, can be understood only through the scientific process. Order, however, is only as good as the perception thereof. Tame is the key that links the two and bears witness their ebb and flow. Alright. This is some sucky poetry. Chaos, order, and time. That looks like chaos. That looks like order. Key? What? Time is the key. Okay. I think... This is how it goes? Oh, well, apparently not. Throw <laughs> logic right out the window on that one. <clears throat> of course. All right. More rambling. Oh, yes, there is. I have accepted the role of Prinogen for Clan Malkadian, the dreadfully winsome label applied to the particular strain of vampirism I suffer. So named As you were saying. for some supposed vampire father figure of old. Or there we go. Card, Rome, from a backward culture that seems entirely gone to children's tales and the fiction of Victorian mm, Rome. When it should uh, concern itself oh, with the coils. I remember this is dangerous. For I have taken this office for no greater reason than to advance my reason. There's a switch right there. Even among my would be peers in this growing body of vampires, they feel for a lot of superstitions. What frickin' What frickin' mansion would have Tesla coils? Tool thing! Frenzy check modifier plus one. This heavy fang can only have belonged to a ferocious predatory beast. You feel at ease knowing there is one less of those in the world. Decreases your chance to frenzy. Oh, that's good. Not that I really need it with fucking Todd here. Eh, that one hurt. That's one of those damn coils. My, apparently my, my cat's namesake is... It's like they're all turned off. Oh, there, we've turned them all off. Hooray! There's still two levers that haven't been raised. Huh. Well, always the completionist. Huzzah. Hooray! And not a scratch. 
Long doors open. Uh, at least I got some XP for that. Unlocked Grout's inner sanctum. Oh boy. Uh, More fallen furniture. Sneak, sneak, sneak. I bet it's that locked area that I couldn't get to earlier. I bet it is. Cause there's a damn painting again. Now we're well, we're in red again. There's green. Very Christmassy. Jingle bells, grout you smell. That is, nope. That's still freaking locked. There's that key, that beautiful key, and without it, we are blocked. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Crazy. <laughs> hmm. It's almost as if a Malkavian designed this mansion. Okay, there's green, there's red. There's right. clear. I unlocked the door to Grouse Okay, Intercity. what was that place with the clocks? What place with the clocks? You just passed it. That was the entrance. That's where we oh. came through. Alright, we're All down right, so here. So this says this is unlocked. It unlocked the inner sanctum. <sighs> well, your guess is as good as mine, folks. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. It'd be nice if I knew where Grout's inner sanctum was. Urgh. Hey, Grout, do you know? Uh -uh. I'm Malkavian. I'm crazy. I am a wild and crazy... Wait, I bet it's... Did we ever open this door? I don't know. Nope. Okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Mistress solved. Plus, it's a new map, so it auto-saved. Which Hooray. is good because if I accidentally somehow get oh, killed. Yep, new, uh, new, must be a new area because there's enemies. There's Voldo again. Just fighting a whole bunch of. This asylum's just full of Voldo and like and crazy Vol cat ladies with knives. You say cat ladies, I was gonna say uh, Venetians. Because they look like they're wearing Venetian masks. You look like you'd be delicious. Here, here we go. Nummy, nummy. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm almost regretting playing through as a Ventru. Ooh, that's some weird stuff there on the frickin' <laughs> hanging from the ceiling. It's almost not very fun. Anytime there's an enemy, it's just like, uh, oh, yep. jeez. All right, lots of enemies. Three at once. Uh, okay, I guess we're gonna blood buff then. <laughs> oh, something about a laboratory refrigerator key. Oh, well, that's probably useful. You might need All that. Right, now I desperately need blood. Do, 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 do. More knaves. We don't need knaves. We stole them from the first cat lady. Uh, hey, that looks like a refrigerator. It's down here. Yeah, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Hey, a tape recording. All right. I was just getting. Uh, I was just getting sad because I hadn't heard this guy's voice in a while. Yeah. I have encountered a disturbing new symptom of this affliction. Frequently, in conversation, morphine. I hear voices emanating from other vampires. What's going on with that morphine? Own, but which seem to have insight into their lives beyond what I could gather from simple conversation. All right, what's in the fridge? The voices seem to echo Blood packs. within my fellow vampires, and I cannot be certain if this Ooh, Elder Vitae. Mm. The voices of various... I dare not mention this symptom to my doctor. Nope, I think that's the only ones we're gonna get. To whom I could be loath to reveal any sign of weakness. Indeed, these voices have counseled me 
against confessing their presence. <laughs> Until I can confirm their source, I will listen. The information the voices have given me ranges from curious to frightening. The latter case is especially hey, here. powerful vampire whose name I shall not commit to recording in the interests of self-preservation. Ooh. He's got the juicy gossip on someone. Ooh. Oh, that looks like a a uh, perfect little blood blood snack right there. I bet he's got the 411 on LaCroix. <laughs> he's the vampire version of Gawker. <laughs> yep. And soon he'll be dead like Gawker. Mm-hmm. Hi, Voldo. Nom, nom, nom. Ooh, all this. Well. All these blood smears on the wall. Ooh, lock picking. Difficulty five. Oh, we can do that. Let's hit it. Failed. Oh, blood buff. There we go. Ah. Huh. Chest. What's Just going a chest on? in this room. Okay. Uh, uh, shotgun shells. I blood ammo. buffed for that. Yes, you did. Oh, that is so lame. <laughs> yep, you went for this. You went for the mystery box, and you got the whammy. Wait a minute. That's a secret door. Is that or a glitch? Nope, that is a secret totally door. A secret door. Oh, hell, let's take the secret door. Yeah, we'll go into the violet room, apparently. Oh, this is neat. Now we can see what's in all these cells. Looks like a strobe light. So far, uh, uh, looks like a Voldo and a dead body. A Voldo and a dead body. Just, looks like a lot of blood. More of a whole lot of nothing. More of a whole lot of nothing. Somebody needs to go in and clean out the cages. Have that at the ready. Oh, friend. Uh, come here, happy meal. Yes, you were delicious. <sighs> now all of a sudden I can do cool kick flips and... Whoa! Ah. Hi! Hello! Well, fine. I'll eat you too. Yeah, you deserve to die. You swiped at me. I do not tolerate those who swipe at the Todd. Oh, somebody down the hallway. Uh, you cool? Kill yourself. All right. I'll just choke myself to death. You know what? I think I'm going to check all these rooms. Whoop. I think I got an enemy in here. Yep, there's... I don't know, I just want to check them. You know, it's... Sometimes there's hidden stuff, you know? You know, maybe we'll find some more Elder Vitae. Yeah, or a or key. Like... Or, you know... Or an artifact or something. That's the thing that's actually, like, the best thing, is when you can find an artifact. Yeah, like that... Like that, the, uh... The Leopog Thistle, or whatever it was. Yeah, the one that makes us frenzy less. The Halpog Video Capture Thistle. <laughs> oh, no, oh. <laughs> God damn it, what the hell is going on? My controls are getting all fucked up. We're... G we're getting Glitchville, we're getting a Glitchville. Ooh, enemy in there. Not in Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. The game. This is weird though, I've never had this issue in, in any of the uh, former times that I played the game. Of course, because back then you weren't recording it. I've had it crash every time I glitched. Oh, come on. 
<laughs> oh yay this this is just ah oh, this is just gunpowder and roses isn't it this is the strobe room oots, 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 oots. you know i think this was a big waste of time there was nothing in these rooms nah this is just except for just shit to glitch my buttons up and some enemies to feed on oh it's one of those doors isn't it uh... Now we're going to the red room. Ooh, are we in the basement? This I, looks almost modern. I was gonna say, I, I thought the, uh, I thought the other place was the basement, the one with the Tesla coils in it. Oh, oh, oh good, this is Whee! gonna be fun. Boing, 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 boing. A uh, good thing Whee! Todd does P90X. Yeah, he does parkour. You dick! Die! Die horribly! Oh, great. The voices have increased in frequency and direction. They have begun to stay with me long after conversation has ceased and are serving as quite a distraction. Voices in your head, Alcavian? No. Notice my preoccupation at the vampire gatherings. Okay. I'm thinking again of the particular vampire of whom I spoke previously, who I dare not name for my growing fear. It's yet LaCroix. Be it's Voldemort. His body the place speak of his blackest crimes, both past and future. More than once, I have seen the suspicion in his eyes. Microphone looks at a vibrator. The fear must register on my face, as it is all I can do in these moments to keep from crying out in chorus with the voices. <laughs> ba! Ah, well, that's pleasant. Yay. And I think we're to the point where we should probably call it an episode. <laughs> Alright. Thank you for watching, thank you for listening, have a good day, and this place is weird. Yeah, don't... Don't go to the Maniac Mansion, it sucks. <laughs> Although I can't speak for the game. The game might be good. Who knows? All right, later, y'all.